Hi guys, I'm Danny702 and welcome back to Disney Springs here at Walt Disney World. It has been a minute since we've been back to Disney Springs and this is one of my favorite spots in Orlando just to come hang out, eat, shop, all the good stuff is here at Disney Springs. Today though is all about happy hour. Now I did a little bit of research to find the best happy hour here at Disney Springs, maybe of all of Walt Disney World, and I'm bringing you guys along to try out a couple of those happy hours. So let's go. Over to the entrance by the big balloon that you absolutely cannot miss when you're coming down to Disney Springs. You'll head across the bridge, and our first look at happy hour is gonna be STK Steakhouse. From 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., STK Orlando features half-off specialty cocktails, but they also have a few food specials, so there are some small bites from $2 all the way up to $8. But first things first, before happy hour, we are heading over to Gideon's. It is a quiet day here, even though it's a Friday at Disney Springs, and there is no return wait line. There's no virtual line or anything. We just hopped in line, and it was a quick standby, not too many people in front of us. I've only been to Gideon's once before, but Eddie, you have never been. No, I you got to try a cookie that I brought home to you once. Yeah, I got to try a couple hour old happy cookie. <laughs> It was still pretty good. And so you'll get to try one nice and warm and fresh right now. Sweet. And there's no line. Usually there's like a, at least an hour wait for this place. Yeah. What a good time to come to Disney Springs. We all know that they are famous for their cookies, their handmade cookies, especially their original chocolate chip. There are a few different other flavors, but they also have a August limited edition, which is a Rocky Road. Aren't you a fan of Rocky Road? Pretty good. <laughs> that might be the one that you're gonna get, but they also have cakes, enormous cake slices, and nitro cold brews on tap. I've heard the peanut butter cold brew is absolutely amazing. Ooh, and they're made with oat milk. Yum. I did do a video here at Gideon's a lot more in detail than what we're doing today. I did a cookies versus a donuts for the two new sweet spots a couple of months back. Both were absolutely delicious, but at that time, I did like the donut slightly better than the cookie, I think just because I got the chocolate chip, and I'm not much of a chocolate fan, so we're gonna go with something a little different this time. I really, really wanna try the peanut butter coffee, but we're about to have some drinks, so maybe I'll skip on the coffee this time around. We're definitely gonna do some kind of cookie. It's pretty themed for a cookie stop, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> For any kind of stuff. I know. You got like spooky music in the background. Whoever this guy is. Here is a look at the different flavors. They have the pistachio toffee coffee chip. This one is peanut butter crunch. Wow. Here is the original chocolate chip. There is the Rocky Rose. So this one is limited for August. And then they have coffee cake. Ooh, yum. Look at these enormous slices of cake. True red velvet salted caramel cake. Oh my gosh. Andy's mint and cookies and cream. Uh-oh. And a peanut butter mocha. Wow. They look pretty crazy. Ooh, there's more cookies over here. Or are these the same? No, these are a little different. Cookies and cream. Oh, that looks like a burnt <laughs> cookie. Triple chocolate chip. I mean, the original already has a whole lot of chocolate. There's the coffee cake again. All right, and we've seen those. Okay, that is pretty wild that on a Friday, Gideon's does not have a standby list <laughs> and just a regular walk-up line. And we got our two cookies, but right across the way are a couple of the happy hour spots that I was looking at. So here at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, which is a really, really fun bar. They have a happy hour from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Friday. And their happy hour will feature wine and well drinks from six to $7. And then they also have $8 and under appetizers. Here is the happy hour menu for the Hangar Bar. So they do have a few different appetizers and then down here are their draft beers and the cocktail of the week is Reggie's Revenge. But our first actual stop is gonna be Paradiso 37 where they have a happy hour all day. While doing my research, I saw that the margaritas here were gonna be $5 per drink at their outside bar all day long. But when I arrived, it looks like there was a little bit of a price increase because it's now $7 for the margarita. But this is a pretty decent sized margarita. I got a little bit of salt on the rim. They gave me a little lime slice. Yeah, I'm ready for this. A well-deserved margarita on a nice hot day. 
a quick look at their outside bar. So you just walk right up to it. It's all outdoors. They have an indoor restaurant, of course. So of course, there's a bar. You can grab some drinks there. But I don't believe that their happy hour is available on the indoor, only outside. Eddie, what do you want to try first, the margarita or the cookie? Uh, margarita. <laughs> all right, we're splitting it. I got another cup because we want to do a few stops, maybe another one or two. So that way, you know, we don't go a little overboard, but go for it, cheers. <laughs> That's a big smile. It's got, yeah, it's good. It's good? It's got like a very, I like the tequila. It's got a good tequila? I wonder what it was, I didn't catch it. Happy hour margaritas, thanks for a very good day. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> See? <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's like a perfect combination of the margarita mix with the alcohol or the tequila. Nothing is too overpowering. Like they kind of just complement each other really well. It was a very yummy margarita. Would have been better if it was $5 instead of seven, but prices everywhere seem to be going up. Now it's time to taste the cookie. So Eddie got the original chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. It's definitely starting to melt already and he's already going in for it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh man, the salt on it too. Yeah, there's sea salt on it. There's a thick, thick piece of cookie right there. Look at that. Woo, baby boy. I ended up going with the coffee cake. It is very crumbly. Ooh, yeah. This looks good. It's very, very buttery. It definitely tastes like a coffee cake, but I think what stands out to me is how buttery it is. It's very like doughy and soft. Yeah, that's a pretty good coffee cake. Yeah, I can see this going really, really well with some coffee in the morning, but the peanut butter coffee cold brew with this would probably be the perfect combination. Oh man, I should have done that. The next place with a good happy hour is here at Raglan Road's Irish Pub and Restaurant. It's gonna be on the outside bar only, but Monday through Friday from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. they have $5 draft beers and also $5 premium well liquors. Located right next to Paddlefish is a Terralina Crafted Italian. And Monday through Sunday, oh, I guess that's every day, from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., their outside bar features $5 select beers and a half off glasses of wine. Taking a quick break from happy hour and heading into Deluxe Burger. I know there is bites for happy hour at some of the places, but I think we're looking for a, a big, more than a bite, like a big meal. And Deluxe Burger is definitely a really great option for great burgers here at Disney Springs. What did you get? Um, so, uh, um, Stack burger? Stack burger. Okay, what is in that? That is insane looking. Cheese, bacon, two patties, and then Bunch of this stuff, yeah. Wow. Like the burger stuff. Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> that's what I get for ordering from the kids' meal. <laughs> uh, so, this is my burger, basically a little slider. It still looks good. It's just very, very small. But that's with this huge side of fries, I'm sure I'll be satisfied after. You got a nice amount of cheese in there, a decent sized patty, and then t tomato and lettuce. That's a good burger. Holy cow. It's flavored really well. The meat is like a decent size, you know, it's not super thin, very juicy. There's just a lot of flavor in here. I'm kind of regretting not getting a whole, a whole hamburger, a whole cheeseburger and just getting this little one. I'm sure I couldn't eat it all, but I can save it for later. Dang, this is good. It was uh, juicy and filling. Super filling. Like I was kind of bummed that I got the kids meal, but now I'm really glad I got the kids meal because I don't think I would have finished a full burger. Yum, good choice. Very nice. Now where to next? Another drink spot. House of Blues. House of Blues, I think, does have a really yeah. good happy hour. Yeah. Let's go check it out. All right. Now, all the way over here by the AMC is a Splitsville Luxury Lanes, and this seems like a really fun place to come and get drinks. And they do have a sidebar as well with drinks to go. It looks like there's a few different frozen drinks. I see Rum Runner, a Pina Colada, these two in the middle, Tiki Punch and Delgado Margarita. They're not frozen, but they sure do sound really good. Over here they've got Big Wave Dave and a Strawberry Margarita. And then look at all the beers that they have on tap. I'm not seeing any happy hour. There might be one, but on their contactless menu, I don't see it available. But the Take Flight 
is the one thing that sounds so freaking awesome. There's a few different types of flights. The Frozen Flight is a sampling of their famous frozen drinks, their Pina Colada, the Big Wave, and the Rum Runner, all for $20. I think we're sticking with the whole happy hour theme, and I believe there's one right across the way that we're gonna do, but maybe next time for that Frozen Flight. From Splitsville to the M&M store to City Works on down to House of Blues, where their happy hour is every day from open until 6 p.m. I know a lot of the times they have live music in this area as well. Oh look, yeah, performing tonight at 6 p.m. John Lee White. They have all bottled and canned beers for $2 off. Then it's $5 for house wines and well liquors. And then $6 for their margaritas and a Long Island iced tea. There's always good vibes at the House of Blues. We like the House of Blues. We've gone to quite a few of them, right? A lot of venues, though. Not so much like the restaurant, but we've definitely been to... Anaheim oh. when it used to be there. Yep, Anaheim. Uh, Vegas, of course. Well, there's only two things. Hollywood. Oh, yeah, Hollywood. <laughs> they get all their drinks are named after songs, or like they're a twist on song names, like Beast of Bourbon. What's Beast of Bourbon? I think it's it's the um, Rolling Stone Beast of Bourbon. Hmm, I don't know. I'm never Beast of Bourbon. Darn, I'm not sure. Okay, well, I'm not I don't sure. know that one. <laughs> I don't know that one sounds like it would be. Kind of like my area? I don't know. So, okay, Strawberry Fields for sure. Sort of feels forever. Um, Rock Me Hurricane. Yeah, yeah. Rock Me Like a Hurricane. Hound Dog Hound Meal. Hound Dog Meal, of course. Elvis. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Black, Black and Blues. Blues. Hmm. And I ended up getting a margarita just so I can compare the two from the one that we had earlier over at Paradiso 37. It's hard to say. It, it does taste very, very similar to the one that we had at the last place. Um, but there's something about this that's like a slightly better and it's also a dollar cheaper so maybe that's it in my head <laughs> and also it's an ac oh yeah and we are inside it's nice in here good vibes of course i don't know here you try it you see what you think way smoother smoother okay I mean, you can chase the alcohol. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Smoother. Smoother. Okay. I think so. Yeah, that might be it. I don't know. That's a really hard choice. I guess smoother would be a really good word for this one. I'm going to say House of Blues for the win. One, because it was a dollar less. <laughs> Two, because of the air conditioning in here. And there's just something about it that's just a little bit more refreshing. Maybe more ice? I don't, you know, I don't know. It, it's, it tastes really good right now, though. But House of Blues for the win of the day. $6 for a margarita. Eddie's beer ended up being $5. And we just love the House of Blues. And then there's probably a few more that I don't know of. I mean, every restaurant has a bar here. Like, I know across the way there's City Works. There is also a really fun bar over at the Rainforest Cafe. Really great view at that bar. But I'm not familiar with their happy hour. It's possible that there might not be one or it's possible that there is one that I just don't know of. But House of Blues for the win. Oh my God, yo, this is so steez. This is so steez. Oh my God, costume of the year. We have got Grogu and his little pod. That is so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I really, really hope I see a whole bunch of kids in this costume this year as they're trick or treating because they're going to get extra candy from me, that's for sure. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our adventure here at Disney Springs, our happy hour adventure, and what a great way to spend the day. I had a really good time just kind of browsing the property, looking for the best happy hours. Definitely a lot of choices all around Disney Springs, but that House of Blues was probably my favorite. Good pricing, good vibes, good drinks. All in all, a good day. And thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, guys. Love ya. Peace. Yep, it's about five o'clock here in Florida. It's about time for that storm to roll on through. Also means it's time to head out. Perfect timing, honestly. Woo!